Hi Wanderers, welcome to Jog My Memory. This video, we are going to look at reading and interpreting synoptic weather maps and this is going to be useful for all grade 10, 11 and 12 students. Basically, synoptic weather maps show weather conditions at a particular time with different conditions and features with special synoptic chart symbols. So synoptic maps have lines called isobars. These isobars connect points of equal atmospheric pressure and is measured in hectopascals. The pressure difference between two consecutive isobars is called the isobar interval. The closer the isobars, the higher the pressure gradient force and stronger the winds. You need to learn the examples in order to interpret this from your synoptic weather map. You need to know different types of precipitations, cloud covers, and how to calculate wind speeds. So let's look at an example. This example is looking at your weather station model found on the internet. So here you can see that a cloud cover shown in this example is overcast. The current temperature is 17 degrees Celsius. Your dew point temperature is 8 degrees Celsius. Your atmospheric pressure is 988 hectopascals. Your current weather is rain. The weather at the last reading is showers. Your wind direction is northwest. And your wind speed is 25 knots because one long line is equal to 10 knots and one short line is equal to 5 knots. If you found this useful, please hit the like button, comment for inquiries, share to anyone who may be able to learn from this and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Drop me an email at jogmymemory at gmail.com. Continue jogging your memory and keep wandering with me.